Hey guys, how's it going? I'm great. I've been super busy lately and the only good thing is that I got a black box record club box and I don't know that's what we're gonna do today we're just gonna open this I have a surprise box I'm gonna open all you guys know what this is this is the black box record club box yeah you get two vinyl per month $30 I think I have an extra one in here too so I'm kind of excited and they got taped this time and it's cute I'm kind of excited oh yeah I think I got a seven inch vinyl because I wrote a review because this company is so bomb. So I think I got three in this box. <gasps> ooh. Okay, ooh. So this is Newfound Glory. Listen to your friends. I've never seen this, but it's blue. I'm excited. Look at that. Look at that foil. Wow. <gasps> ooh, look at that. That's nice. I do like Newfound Glory. I've seen them one time. They were good. That's really cool. So I got a Newfound Glory one. I don't think you guys know my love for Iron and Wine, but I love them dearly. They're a great indie rock band, very chill, very nice. Ooh, I'm excited. This one's probably just black, but this is a great album. Check this one out, called Our Endless Number Days. It's so good. Iron and Wine, they're just like a great band. All around great band. <gasps> oh my god, this, okay, funny story. One, nice. Two, do you see that? It says yellow. <laughs> So three, I just went to the record store with Drew and he was like, Kelsey, you need to have a Blink album in your collection. I was like, no, I don't need it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. And he pulled this one out. He's like, Kelsey, you need this. I, I'm pretty sure it's this one. That's really funny. That's really funny. Ooh, and it's yellow. Hey, Kelsey, I wanted to mix up the genres for you and send you some classic pop punk and some modern folk singer, songwriter, music. So album number one is Buddha by Blink. Here's some super limited edition piece of pop punk history. Ooh, I'll have to look that up. I'll let you guys know what pressing this is and all that. It's out of 500, but it says it's limited. That's cool. Piece of pop punk history. Blink's debut record repressed in bright yellow wax. Only 500 units will ever be pressed. Nice. Album number two are Endless Number Days, Iron and Wine. This 2004 release is Iron and Wine's second album. This record includes some of the singer songwriter's best work from Kyle. This one's really cool. I'm actually really excited about this. I like the diversity in this one. Yeah, so let's take a gander. I love yellow pressing. Yeah. Ooh, nice. It's like a marble yellow. Ooh, I like that. Too funny. We literally were gonna buy this. I'm glad we didn't because I got this. I don't know if it was the same color. I don't know if it was yellow. He's gonna be happy when he sees that. Pretty sure this one's gonna be black. It sucks because not a lot of indie records are colored, which is a little disappointing, but I don't really think that that's like the direction those bands are going in. Yeah, this one's just black. It feels a little bit heavier. I'm pretty sure this is 180 gram. Nope, it's not. I was wrong. This is just a big boy. And then I have a little surprise for you guys. I was wrong. Well, that's okay. This is still exciting. So I thought in this box was Sitting Color's new album of recorded stuff. But this is Wicca Phase, Springs Eternal's old album called Secret Boy. They just signed with Run For Cover and I'm super pumped because they're touring with Nothing Nowhere, which is really exciting because I love both of them. Pretty sure this is a really cool pressing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. That's really neat. I was super excited about this. There's not a lot of pressings of this one either. So I wanted to snag it right away. Top 10 color pressings of mine. Ooh, this is neat. So Wicked Phase, he's emo rap, I guess if you want to call it, but it's not really emo. Like lo-fi R&B, I guess. I don't know. It's really good. This guy used to be in Tiger's Jaw, if you guys didn't know. He's doing his own thing now. I think he used to be the guitarist and like kind of a singer-ish, but now he's in his little R&B group and they're great. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. I don't know, you can turn the post notifications on. I don't know if that actually does anything, but if it does, do it. If not, I don't care. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.